Welcome back guys, you're watching today's Platinum and in this video we're going to be going over Hollow Chain in another coin review. So if you guys enjoy content like this, make sure to like and subscribe for more. We do daily cryptocurrency content, two videos a week, Monday through Friday, as well as one video both on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we also have some free resources resources for you in the description top 57 cryptos of 2018 and beyond as well as our free facebook community for you guys to go ahead and join so feel free to take advantage of any of that as well as our premium trading program that is the first link in the description so if you're interested in any of that definitely check that out but getting into the video like i said doing another coin review on hollow hollow is you um ranked somewhere in the 60 to 80 range i'm pretty sure we will find out right now. Actually, it looks like it may be on the second page, or maybe I skipped it. Uh, let's just search it up. Hollow or hot tokens. Um, it's actually interesting because the logo is different on the website and some other places than on coinmarketcap.com, but um, overall, cool logo, I guess, but doesn't matter at all. It's rank 91. Looks like we just missed it, but. Looking at Hollow hasn't really had that explosion that normally blockchain infrastructure projects do have, which is why I wanted to make this coin review before that does happen, um, if it does and when it does happen, so you guys can take advantage of that and end up with some pretty nice gains. So looking at about a $152 million market cap right now, getting around $3 million in uh, volume over the last 24 hours, and you can check out these circulating and total supplies right here. So about less than one cent actually a tenth of a cent you're looking at so you could definitely scoop up a good amount of these coins but um, really depends on where it's going in the future so let's find out where a hollow chain could be in the future if you guys are interested after this video uh, in investing in hollow chain you can go ahead and pick it up on fat btc i didn't even know that was an exchange but apparently fat btc is an exchange IDEX, Hotbit, LA Token, didn't know that was an exchange either. Uh, OOO Bit, Coin, and Radar Relay. So all sound like pretty sketchy exchanges beside IDEX. I know a few people that use that, but um, if you can pick it up, it would definitely be beneficial because no doubt in my mind that this will eventually make it to some exchanges like Binance, KuCoin, and some other larger exchanges. So hopping into the actual website, hollow chain uh, that's the logo that i was talking about that i keep seeing everywhere pretty cool um so think outside the blocks and click down hollow developer internship 2018 so if you guys are interested in that go ahead and apply there but um right off the bat they have a little video basically what comes after blockchain hollow chain is a framework for distributed apps so i'm not going to play this video uh in this coin review but go ahead and go to hollow chain's website if you guys are interested in checking out this video basically just does an introduction for the project but like you can read right there it is a framework for uh distributed apps so um Basically, guys, uh, something that is able is possible after you have an infrastructure blockchain. So how it works is, um, let me just sketch it out for you. For those of you guys who don't know, um, we will just do a little screen sketch. So normally you have the infrastructure. Let me change this to black so you can actually see it. So just picture this as like the infrastructure, right? So this is going to be the infrastructure of what something is created on. So consider this to be something like Ethereum, EOS, NEO, or something like that. Okay, so something that's an actual blockchain that allows things to run on top of it. On top of that, you have basically these applications that are decentralized applications. And on top of that, you can have different features and different uh, softwares, whatever, that are basically for those applications. So in order to create these decentralized applications, you need something like Holochain to be able to build those applications. So like it said up here, it's a framework for distributed apps. So it is an infrastructure project, but aimed at building decentralized applications. So um, they don't have a ton of information besides this right here. Versatile solutions, decentralization with no bottlenecks and adaptable uh, validation, peer-to-peer, -peer, no centralized servers, no ledgers and no middlemen, 
individual authority over data sharing, access, and storage. So, um, yeah, human a more human internet. Each of us wants to have control over how and with whom we interact. In order to evolve and thrive, our communities must support everyone's uniqueness. Yet today, our online relationships are dominated by centralized corporate uh, websites. HelloChain enables a distributed web with user auto autonomy built directly into its architecture and protocols. Data is about remembering our, li our lived and shared experiences. Our lived and shared experiences. That doesn't sound right. But uh, distributing the storage and processing of that data can change how we coordinate and interact with digital integration under user control. HelloChain liberates our online lives from corporate control over our choices and information. So uh, it is an infrastructure for, like I said, these app, uh, decentralized applications, distributed applications, but it's more of a framework, uh, sounds like, for the web. So um, it looks like they want to basically fix the issue of large corporations having control over our data as well as uh, the information and choices we have on the internet. If you guys notice, a lot of the time if you're on, uh, say for example, Facebook is the best example because of Facebook ads, um, basically based off your interests and behavior, you're going to be targeted uh, for specific advertisements from different businesses and that is all uh, allowed and uh, you know that is all achievable through Facebook actually um, basically taking your data over time and uh, keeping all that data, using it to uh, basically give to advertisers in order so they can make ads uh, specified for people with certain criteria of data. Facebook then charges them obviously for running those ads and that's basically how that process works. So looks like they want to basically decentralize this and allow for the people to be in control of their choices and information on the net, uh, internet. So how does Holler Chain work? Uh, you see, there's, it's a video right here. So again, definitely check out their website so you guys can watch these videos and get a better understanding. I always want you guys to do your own research. I just try to bring these projects to your attention uh, in case you may be interested about them. So uh, Hollow is hosting a summer internship. Again, if you guys are interested, um, uh, blockchain developers and uh, things of that nature are very in demand these days. Uh, it's actually... I just learned that uh, I think $120,000 per year is the starting salary for um, for a, a blockchain developer. So very interesting to see that. Obviously, it's a very new space, so um, great to see that. Uh, so Holochain helps people. Like we said, it's basically aimed at the internet. So uh, own their own data, control their identity, connect applications to suit their needs, transact without centralized systems, build lighter, faster, cheaper applications. So pretty cool um, that they have a bunch of features like this. Uh, overall, I think they are over delivering on the value that they are providing. Not only are they kind of attacking uh, the current issues with um, online process, the online process of data as well as um, advertisements and people's choices on the internet, but they're also looking to allow people to build cheaper applications, distributed and decentralized applications through uh, their infrastructure. So definitely a cool project in my opinion and could definitely have a great future. So Holochain apps help uh, governance and collaboration, social media, social networks, and vendor links, sharing economy and platform co-apps, supply chain wins, and social communities. So uh, that is what they are basically looking uh, to assist with their applications that are built on the infrastructure. So uh, they're not saying that uh, they're not saying that hollow chain is specifically going to do these things they're what they're basically saying is the applications that are built on uh, using the hollow chains um, technology those are going to allow for uh, these things to happen so uh, start building your own innovative applications we're not just a magic idea white paper uh, you can build cutting edge distributed app apps in javascript or lisp on our platform right now. So it's good to see that they actually, you're able to uh, build on their platform already. Uh, you, you know, you do see a lot of infrastructure projects these days not having that availability to actually build the applications already. Um, like for example, EOS is one of them. Uh, it's been out for a while and the test net is everything 
is out, but the mainnet is not launching until actually June. So your apps will have access to core services like a customizable uh, UI, the Holochain DPKI app that manages keys and identifies identities across hollow chain applications the hollow platform for serving crypto apps to normal web browsers api bridges between crypto apps and the capacity to migrate data when updating distributed apps so guys i'm just excited to see the future of our internet with all of these um, applications that are going to be developed uh, on our, you know kind of the web 4.0 or whatever you want to call it we're going to basically see distributed and decentralized applications totally new applications that we've never seen before and i'm definitely excited for the future uh, of blockchain see what it does um, with a, a number of different industries including the internet but it looks like holochain wants to be one of the leaders in that space so <clears throat> it looks like they're definitely hiring guys i've already seen three pitches to uh, hire people so again if you guys are interested definitely check them out but um, yeah, that's basically all they have on their front page. Uh, they do have some uh, technological details right here, uh, basically just highlighting some of their uh, some of the key uh, things uh, for Hollow Chain. So, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, my throat's a little sore these past few days. But uh, holographic storage for distributed applications, low cost, lightweight, and secure. So I'm not going to go through all of this just because I know a lot of you guys get bored with the uh, technological details. And I know I do sometimes, but it's important to always do all of the research that is needed to be done in order to make an informed decision on if this project is something you're interested in. Uh, I would definitely I'm definitely interested in the project. I just want to see for the development as well as possibly um, the next version of their website. Most most new projects update their website a little to be a little bit more um, interactive, I guess, and informational. I think they do have some good information on here, but uh, besides the two videos, they could definitely put some more info on here as well as some other features on their website so um, I, I want to see some more development from Holochain like I said they haven't really had that explosive uh, growth that we usually see with infrastructure projects like this yet uh, which leads me to believe that uh, we are still in for some large growth in Holochain being that it is an infrastructure project uh, most infrastructure projects normally are you know as they develop further on uh, achieve a market valuation of um, it, as long as they are quality projects, somewhere from 500 million to a billion, and even further on for the best projects. So, this could definitely be one of them, depending on further developments, but we will have to see. So, my price prediction for Hollow Chain, um, not for 2018, but just for the next year or so, um, I'm looking at anywhere from uh, a 500 billion, 500 million dollar market cap to an $800 million market cap, really depending on what they do. Uh, I could see 400 to 600 for sure, but uh, pushing that 800 to a billion dollar market cap would be the ideal spot uh, for investors, allowing for almost a 10x at this point. So you're at about a 10th of a cent now. Um, so looking at about a 5x, you might be at a sixth of a cent or five, fifth of a cent. So uh, that's what we're looking out for 2018 and beyond about the next year or so so definitely looking out for some more developments on hollow chain as well as some other exchanges adding it um i, I definitely i, I want to try to get in before it gets added to some of the large ones like binance and kucoin because chances are it will explode in price when that does happen and some of the i want to be able to get in on those gains and i hope you guys also uh, want to get in as well so hopefully there's some other exchanges that it is available on idex i i might tr try that out but uh, we will have to see so guys if you have any other cryptocurrencies that you want to uh, want me to look at and want me to do a review on i will be glad to do so just leave them in the comment section and also let me know what you think of hollow chain give me your opinion on it and uh, any further um, information that you guys know that maybe i don't i uh, definitely appreciate that but that's going to be all for this one, guys. So if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Have a good one.